So I'm Dr. Charles Tegler. I'm a professor of neurology at Wake Forest School of Medicine in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And I am a, a research collaborator with Brain State Technologies. Uh, we are working with them uh, to, as an independent uh, organization, an academic medical center, put brainwave optimization uh, to the test in scientific settings to really evaluate uh, the effect, the benefit, uh, and, and understand uh, who it might uh, work for uh, in, in good clinical trials. Well, that's a great question and, and an important one, especially for spending a lot of time in an academic environment. So l let me answer that with several different thoughts. Uh, one of the reasons that I was very interested in working on research with, with Hiram is, is just <clears throat> our innate nature as a physician. Uh, you know, we're really dedicated to finding new and better ways to promote health and healing, to eliminate pain and suffering, and to try to, to uh, you know, uh, do away with disease. And this is a, a new, exciting opportunity to do that. <clears throat> but, it, but it's more than that. Um, we always are looking for, for safe, non-invasive ways <clears throat> to offer uh, advances in health and healing to people, uh, trying to avoid treatments that may have side effects, that may be costly, uh, that may uh, have, have risk associated with them. Uh, so that was also attractive. <clears throat> uh, in addition, <clears throat> there are many neurological diseases, and being, being a neurologist, I kind of have a bias about some of those, but uh, there are many disorders for which we really don't have any effective treatments. Uh, there are things that we use. There are medications, there's other strategies that are tried, but they have either a low success rate, or they really just aren't effective, or uh, <clears throat> they have side effects associated with them. And, uh, and so that also uh, offered uh, uh, an opportunity to, to try something new, to explore some exciting new, new areas. In addition, uh, the last, oh, five years or so, I guess, I've uh, been involved with, with some sort of integrative medicine approaches, some things that they didn't tend to teach us in medical school that, that uh, you know, are a little bit different, but as I've come to learn, really are based on what are sound neuroscience principles. <clears throat> and uh, again, uh, this approach, uh, using in essence a, a brain biofeedback approach, uh, really seem to make sense based on, on the background, uh, the literature that's out there, and, and as a neurologist, uh, uh, the approach to, to health and healing as far as some neurological disorders. The final uh, reason that I was really uh, interested in, in uh, doing research uh, with this approach, with, with Hiram, uh, with brainwave optimization, uh, is that for any methodology, especially one that's so new and unique, to be accepted by the medical community and to ever be integrated into practice, uh, it really requires the, the scrutiny uh, of good science. And, and so, uh, you know, being in an academic medical center, having some background and experience with that, um, you know, it looked like it, it was really something that, that uh, uh, was needed, something I could help with, uh, was to try to put this to the test, evaluate it under good scientific conditions, uh, and really see whether it works and in, in whom uh, and how well so that we could uh, uh, gain, you know, hopefully gain acceptance uh, for these techniques. So the first research project that we, we tackled was in primary insomnia. Now, why in the world will we work on insomnia? Well, many reasons, uh, several of which are that insomnia is such a widespread disorder. Sleep problems in general uh, affect, uh, they say, up to maybe half of the population uh, is some symptom of sleep problem each, each week. You know, uh, many folks actually have a sleep disorder. But the reason it's important is that, that lack of sleep is now uh, really coming to the front as far as understanding of the importance of that for health and for healing. Many medical problems can result from, from lack of sleep. <coughs> uh, and so besides that, besides the importance for the society, um, uh, insomnia also was something that it appeared that brainwave optimization uh, really was effective for based on the case experience to date uh, here at, at Brain State uh, Technologies. And so when we had the opportunity to do uh, the first randomized 
uh, clinical trial, uh, we wanted to pick something that there was experience, that we uh, had an indication it might work, but also something that was a big societal problem that there isn't great answers for. And so uh, we, we chose to work on insomnia. <laughs> and uh, uh, with that, we had to, to sort of hone in on the specific segment of insomnia. We had to exclude people who had other causes that we might not expect uh, uh, brainwave optimization to be effective for things like obstructive sleep apnea, uh, restless leg syndrome, someone who has prostate trouble who has to get up at night, <clears throat> you know, those kinds of things. And we also really focused in on, on other conditions such as the need for certain uh, medications that would, we know would, would interfere with the process. We wanted to make it a very uniform group of people we were studying and try to eliminate other noise that might affect the, uh, the outcome results. Uh, but what we did was, uh, was to do a randomized trial uh, for insomnia. <coughs> with that, we identified uh, 20 subjects. 20 people that uh, uh, agreed to participate in the project. Those were randomly assigned uh, to a group that, that got uh, the brainwave optimization early, uh, for, you know, very quickly after the randomization. During that, they continued their usual care. That was one group. That was a treatment group. The other group uh, was assigned to just continue their usual care uh, during that, that uh, period of, of the study. Uh, at the end of the, the, uh, the one month of, of uh, brainwave optimization, then we, we re-evaluated the outcome measures uh, to see whether it worked. <coughs> and uh, the group that had the usual care, that got assigned to the usual care, had an opportunity to cross over and, uh, and get the, uh, uh, the HIRAM or the brainwave optimization as well. And although we're in the process of, of doing some additional analysis and, uh, <coughs> and preparing a manuscript for that, uh, the initial results appear very promising uh, and we're, we're very excited about it. At the moment, uh, the, we are actually involved in a number of, of research projects. <coughs> we started with the, the primary insomnia pilot trial, uh, but very shortly thereafter, uh, we got approval by our institutional review board to do a project that we call a developmental or exploratory protocol. <coughs> with that, uh, which is an open label trial, meaning there is no wait list, there is no placebo control, they know what they're getting, but we, we are uh, doing it under experimental research conditions. But that allows us to study <coughs> uh, patients uh, conditions, clinical conditions that we may not have great data for. We may not know what the outcome would be. Uh, let's us understand the brain energetics in those and, and collect pilot data, collect preliminary results that we could use then to go on and, and try to do additional, bigger, more formal research projects. So, so that's a project that's ongoing. <coughs> we uh, currently, uh, as we're, we're filming this, uh, have 28 subjects enrolled in that project with a variety of different clinical conditions. In addition, <coughs> we also are currently uh, 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 carrying out a project for uh, using brainwave optimization in episodic migraine patients. Again, a big issue for the society. Migraine is a huge problem. We have some, some uh, preliminary evidence uh, based on the work at Brain State that, it, that it's helpful, so we're going to put it to the test. So what we uh, have, have carried out or are carrying out is a, a randomized, controlled clinical trial. That means that it not only is a trial where they were randomly assigned to one of two groups, but this project actually uses a sham placebo, meaning that there <coughs> really is a, 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 a sugar pill, if you will. So we're comparing real brainwave optimization uh, with a, if you will, a fake brainwave optimization. Uh, we're, we're following those subjects, those patients, and the primary uh, outcome for the study will be, does it help their headaches two months after they finish? <clears throat> and uh, we're excited with that. We currently have 20 subjects enrolled for that project with a target of, of 30. We'll be doing that probably uh, finishing that study in the late spring uh, of 2012. But we're uh, really excited about uh, that, that effort. <clears throat> 
beyond that, we have so many things that, uh, that are being planned. Uh, we have uh, you know, recently uh, been able to get some uh, funding uh, to be able to uh, uh, target three specific projects in 2012, additional projects. The first will be a confirmatory trial to, to do a sham placebo control uh, study for insomnia. So we started with the, the pilot trial of insomnia that was a wait list control, comparing brainwave optimization with usual care. <coughs> that uh, appeared very positive. But for the scientific community, it really is better science to do a placebo-controlled trial. So the insomnia project we're doing in 2012 will, will actually be a randomized controlled trial uh, through brainwave optimization versus fake optimization uh, uh, to see whether, to confirm really, the, the effects uh, to show that, uh, that it's uh, beneficial for, uh, for insomnia, primary insomnia. Besides that, <coughs> we will also be doing a pilot study in patients with mild cognitive impairment. Again, a big problem for society for which there are no answers now. Uh, but doing uh, an effort with that, collaborating with our uh, aging center at, at Wake Forest. Uh, and the, the third project will be one in traumatic brain injury and concussion. Again, a big uh, topic of big interest in the society. We don't have great uh, therapies uh, for those uh, problems. Uh, and that pilot trial uh, will be uh, in about 20 subjects as well. Uh, there are some other things that are being planned, but those are the, the three targeted projects that, uh, as of right now, are, uh, are in the planning stages for 2012. So from, uh, <coughs> for, for viewers of the video and, and people who are interested in where we stand with brainwave optimization as far as the research, uh, I, I can tell you that, um, that we're excited about it. Uh, but what we're doing is a very careful, <coughs> uh, considered, stepwise approach to try to bring good science to evaluating brainwave optimization you know, outside of the, the confines of, of brain state technologies in an academic medical center uh, using well-accepted uh, clinical trial methodologies to really uh, you know, independently put it to the test and see uh, does brainwave optimization work? For which kind of problems does it work? How effective is it? <coughs> so that the goal is that uh, if we, we uh, you know, can show benefit, that it will be such that it could be uh, understood and accepted by the medical community, potentially actually uh, embraced and integrated into the, to the uh, community, into the routine uh, you know, sort of management for, for these problems. Uh, and again, going back to my early uh, first comments about one of the reasons I wanted to get into this, we want to, uh, our, our goal is to be able to show that we have some alternative, uh, a safe, non-invasive alternative to address many uh, problems for which there are no good treatments that really have a big impact on society at this point. <clears throat> and bottom line is, uh, we're well on our way. We have a, a solid foundation. We've got a great team in place. Uh, we are blessed to have uh, some, some funding to pursue these projects. Uh, and, and we're hard at it. <clears throat> and uh, uh, you know, stay tuned because uh, we anticipate a series of, of publications that will help uh, uh, articulate and, and share uh, the results that we've been getting.